Recently, pros have started using custom crosshairs in-game and I think it's mostly due to the overlays that make this possible being approved on the official Epic Games Store. So with that, you can only assume that they're allowed and 100% legal to use, even though the TOS is still kind of vague. In addition, we've also seen some pros use custom cursors inside of Windows, which in-game do only show while navigating the menus and organising their inventories. So with all of that, I thought I'd quickly explain how to get both of them. Starting off with a custom crosshair first. If you open up the official Epic Games Store, then type in Crosshair, you'll see there's two options. You can choose the free overlay that's called Crosshair V2. You can see right here it is completely free. However, the customization is quite bare, but it does do the job. Or you can go with the paid overlay called Crosshair X. And you can see here this does actually cost. However, it does look a lot more customizable, to be fair. I myself though do recommend the free version as this does do the job and you don't have to pay for it. So if you just click on that get button, download it, then install it and obviously open it up, you'll see that a menu appears at the top right of your desktop where you can customize your crosshair to have different sizes, different shapes and colors to help you find the best crosshair for yourself and your own preferences. But do note, this does only seem to work in windowed full screen mode. So make sure to select that option in game. I myself also like to go into my reticle settings and turn off this option as I just want to see the custom crosshair in game and that's it and after that in game you'll see it actually does work which should benefit you a ton as with your crosshair being the same all the time your aim should be way more consistent and in turn should improve your aim especially when you hip fire as when using the default crosshairs in game you'll notice these change from weapon to weapon which can make your aim rather inconsistent and that's why you see many pros prefer the custom crosshair over the default one in game as it's just way more consistent. Moving on though to a custom cursor, what we've seen pros like Peterbot use. To get your hands on this you need to go over to your desktop, you need to open up the start menu and inside here just type in mouse settings like so and click on the first one. You then want to scroll down to additional mouse settings. By the way the steps to get to here are very similar on Windows 10 but once you get into the mouse properties, if you head into the pointer section right here make sure a normal select is selected then click on browse. This is where you can find a custom crosshair. Now you can add your own custom made one, but I believe the one that Peterbot is using right now is the cross IL. So if you select that one right there, you'll notice it changes it to this black crosshair. However, in game it's more translucent. But if you go ahead and apply that, you'll notice that your default windows cursor will change from looking like this to looking like this on screen. And you can see it looks pretty much the exact same as Peterbot. If you do want your own custom one, you can head over to Google and search cursor.cc it should be the top link and this right here is a free website where you can customize your own crosshair but to get the template you want to go into your local drive find the windows folder then look for the cursors folder and inside here you want to press c and locate the cross underscore il cursor from there you want to copy this Control c and then paste it on your desktop from there we're going to import our cursor then upload and as you can see here it is what i firstly like to do is actually fill it as it looks pretty translucent when you do use it without actually filling up the center part right here. Now from there guys, you can actually customize this to your preference. Uh, some people like to change of color. They'll make it red, they'll make it blue, whatever color you desire. You just wanna go ahead and fill it in like so. You can even make it like one pixel thicker on each side if you do desire that. I've seen that be a preference for a lot of people out there. Once you are happy with the product though, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually download what you've just created. And by the way, you can also see a little preview there too. I like the look of this, so I'm going to download it. I just like to call it Custom Crosshair. And there you can see my Custom Crosshair on my desktop. And after that, you want to open up the Cursors folder, which we found earlier inside of a Windows folder. You'll see it there. And you essentially want to drag it over. Don't forget to click Continue. Now, if you go back into your Pointers and go under Normal Select, you can click on Browse and you can find your Custom Crosshair and select it like so. Then click Apply and OK. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel.